Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a fun punch art card that I came up with. Um, I don't know about you, but my kids have become obsessed with a new game that can be played on their phones. <laughs> it's called Among Us. And it's actually a cute little game that they play. They get with all their friends. It's like a fugitive kind of game um, that they play with other friends on their phones and they're obsessed with it. So I don't know if you have uh, any kids from like eight to teenager, but it's a big hit right now. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to come up with an idea with an Among Us character. So I wanted to show you what I came up with here is the card. So this is what the little character looks like and I all I can tell you is I have no idea. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's all about but this is what it looks like and my kids love it. So I thought this would be a great idea to make little cards um, for that age range and give you an idea of how to do it. So if you don't know ask your kids or your grandkids about it and they might really love one of these cards. So I'll show you how I did it. So I have a piece of paper. So I started out with it's five and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I folded it in half on the five and three quarters side. So it's two and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So that's what you're gonna start with. Okay. And then I took, I used my layering circle framelits. Now you can use any of these sizes. If you want a smaller one, you could do that. I used the biggest circle in there um, just to make my card this size. And we're just only going to cut off just the top area up here with our circle framelit. So I wanted to show you how you do that. I just put it in my card like this so that this bottom part is not being cut, okay? And you are just gonna cut off the top, the very top edge of your card, just like that. And then that bottom won't cut off. So it will come out looking like this, okay? So it just cuts off that very top edge, just like that. So then you have this kind of tombstone looking card here. So it still folds. And then we're going to just cut a little notch here so we can see his feet. Now, I just use snips for that. You could, if you had a small enough square or rectangle punch, you could use that in there. But I don't mind just going in with my snips and freehanding it. So, depending on how much of a perfectionist you are, <laughs> if that's important to you or not. But I think you can just go in and cut out a little notch for the legs. Okay, just like that. Okay, so the next thing we need is we need to add their little visor. So this is what they see through their little helmet thing. And for this, I just used our oval punch here. It has this scallop oval or just the regular and I liked the little regular oval. So I'm just going to adhere that just right on the front here. Just like that. Okay, and then the next thing is they have this little backpack that kind of comes off like this. They're a little pack, but I like the edges of this rounded. So I like to take our little detailed trio punch and I'm just going to use this corner rounder part and I'm going to stick my little pack in here and just round two of those corners. Just like that, okay? And then I'm going to use some glue dots here. And attach the little pack. Just like that. So simple, so easy, so fun. And as much as I don't understand it, my kids are going to go nuts for this. <laughs> So I wanted to show you a few other ideas that I came up with using this. Um, they have these little, I don't even know what they're called, Among Us characters. <laughs> they have them in all sorts of colors and um, 
They also have little hats that they wear in the game. You can choose little hats. I think you can earn them different ways. Um, and you can put little hats on. So they have like a cute little flower one. Or I put some antlers on this one. I thought that might be cute for a little hunter boy. <laughs> but I also, I made a few other hats that I thought would be cute. Here's a little top hat and a little party hat. So you could add those on, like cute little party hat for them. Or a little top hat. I don't know. I thought they'd be cute. So I used the little flower I got from the Strawberry Builder Punch. So cute. Or the snowman. He has the top hat. Cute. The ice cream builder punch. I got the party hat from the cone of the ice cream. But I feel like you could make something cute with the top of it too. Maybe like a chef hat or something. That would be cute. And then here's the antlers. So fun. You can do all sorts of things and get really creative in making the cute little hats for the characters. Okay, and then I wanted to show you one other idea I came up with using this. I'm not going to show you totally how um, all the measurements and everything for this. We could maybe um, do a blog post if anyone is interested in the measurements. But I made this little gift card holder um, that's in the Among Us character. So I backed it with a black piece just to give it a little more um, sturdiness. And I just, you just pull the top off. Okay, so let me explain a little about the game. I don't totally understand it, but here's a little detail. <laughs> so they're little, like, spacemen, or men in space, and they have these little suits that they're wearing, okay? And you have imposters, and you have crewmates. And the imposters are going about trying to kill the crewmates without being found out that they're an imposter. That's like the idea of the game. So when the crewmate gets killed by the imposter, then they have this little bone that pops out. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. Go online and you can, you can find it. Search Among Us and you'll see it. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. So I thought that would make a really cute gift card holder. Just like this. Okay. And it just pops off. Your kids will love it. I promise your kids or grandkids. Anyway, so I've had a lot of fun coming up with some fun little punch art ideas using this Among Us characters. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. Um, and I want to see what you come up with. So if you make something and you post it on social media, make sure you tag us at Stamping Jill. We'd love to see what you come up with. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.